Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video, and it seems like not even a day can go by without a massive sweeping change made to patch 10.1, and in today's video, I will be covering buffs and nerfs made to these affected classes, which is likely to affect their performance for your class or potentially intrigue you into checking out a class that maybe you otherwise weren't considering because some of these changes are very substantial. And if you want to stay up to date with changes related to World of Warcraft entertaining and educational content, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Your support is greatly appreciated. So let's get started here. In addition to the class changes that were implemented in yesterday's new PTR build, which I'll have in a video linked in the video after this, uh, we're making the following adjustments to classes on the embers of Neltharian PTR today via hotfixes. These changes will all be in place before our mythic raid testing later today. As always, we really appreciate your testing and feedback. Death Knights, unholy. Quite a paragraph for you guys here today. Fixed an issue with gargoyle stutter casting. <laughs> stutter casting. I'm stuttering reading the stutter. That, that's There's irony in there. Uh, when the cast time of gargoyle strike was lower than one second, uh, gargoyle strike damage has been reduced by 8%. Uh, the developer notes read that now that gargoyle properly casts without stuttering, as I'm trying my best to not stutter reading this, when falling below one second cast times, we are reducing the damage of gargoyle strike to counter the extra cost. This is just a rebalancing. It's not going to matter too much however these ones seem to be pretty impactful uh, reaping damage bonus increased to 30 percent up from 25 percent festering wound damage has been increased by 10 percent scourge strike and clawing shadows damage has been increased by 15 percent death coil damage has been increased by 10 percent and your two set bonus has been adjusted the duration of death dealer has been increased to 25 seconds up from 20 seconds so seemingly buffs overall for unholy death knight i know a lot of comments have been uh, talking about specs that are lesser representative presented or, or struggling a bit not receiving attention this is quite a bit of attention here for unholy death knights for balance druid looks like we're getting some nerfs starfall damage is going to be reduced by five percent full moons generated by orbit breaker now generate 80 percent astral power in addition to its current effect and starfire will now deal reduced damage beyond eight targets starfire's tooltip will be updated in a future patch so likely looking to rein some of balance druid's aoe in given how many massive changes uh, were made to it this is likely again and due to rating and mythic plus but also probably pvp with starfall builds um, so i'm not really surprised to see this arcane mage this is a spec that has been struggling a bit let's see what you guys are getting radiant spark duration has been increased to 12 seconds from 10 touch of the magi duration increased to 12 up from 10 arcane blasts damage has been increased by 10 percent arcane missiles damage has been increased by eight percent arcane barrage damage has been increased by eight percent and your two set bonus has been adjusted arcane surges spell damage increased by 10 percent up from five and your two set bonus is this meant to say four set bonus? No, it's both of these for the two set bonus. Duration increased to 18 seconds up from 12 seconds. So buffs all around for Arcane, another specialization that needed a little bit of attention. You are getting a little bit of a tune-up and likely going to be continuing to get tune-ups as we saw in the introduction to this, to this post with the raid testing that is impending. So I can only imagine that there is likely going to be even more in the future. For Fire Mage, we're seeing Pyroblast damage increased by 8%, Fire Blast damage increased by 10%, Fireball damage increased by 15%, Scorch damage increased by 15%, Improved Combustion now grants Mastery equal to 75% of your Critical Strike stat, up from 50%, and Improved Scorch duration increased to 12 seconds, up from 8 So pretty big buffs overall for fire mage as well another specialization that need uh, need a little bit love and tender care here so fire mage game buffs arcane mage game buff and holy dk is getting buffed what else is going to be getting buffed here for frost mage looks like they've they've split up your post a little bit uh, maybe they didn't want the the buffs to blend in with each other here i'm not sure but glacial assault damage has been increased by 20 percent Comet Storm damage has been increased by 10%. Snowstorm's Cone of Cold damage increased by 12% per stack up from 10. Frozen Orb damage has been increased by 8%. Blizzard damage has been increased by 12%. And Brain Freeze now causes Flurry to deal 65% additional damage up from 50. This seems to be a very significant one, at least to me. And Aberyst, the Shadow 2 set bonus, has been adjusted. Flurry and Ice Lance damage is increased by 20% up from 15. So Frost Mage's getting some pretty staggering buffs as well 
For Holy Priest, we are looking at Dazzling Lights, healing from Divine Image, reduced by 50%. Pretty significant nerf off the top for Holy. Uh, Empowered Renew now only triggers when casting Renew. And Empowered Renew now causes Renew to instantly heal your target for 40% of its total periodic effect. It was previously 10%, but you're getting more direct healing on your Renew. Um, healing Chorus now causes Renew to increase the healing done by your next circle of healing by 2%, stacking up to 50 times. It was previously 1% tough to read overall if this is overall buff or nerf just going to give you more instant cast healing it seems um as a substitute for some overall passive healing reduction and for shadow we are shadow is the spec that's getting like a big rework in this patch and it's a lot of players are kind of like oh, i don't really like this and they're very worried about it so you're not right here you're not getting a lot let's see what it is psychic link now causes your direct damage spells to inflict 30 percent of their damage on all other targets afflicted by your vampiric embrace down from 40 percent and Mastermind now increases the critical strike damage of Mind Blast, Mind Flay, Mind Spike, and Shadow Word Death by 20 to 40, up from 13 to 25. So you're getting a critical strike damage buff to your burst spells, offset by the crit strike overall nerf in PvP. It's probably not too big of a deal. I think the, the main problem with Shadow moving into this patch is that you're going to be hard casting a lot more. So hopefully you were compensated for that with substantial amounts of damage for rewarding you for casting those spells. That's the biggest thing that needs to happen. I, I think it's actually a good thing to get casters casting again and have their damage feel meaningful. You know, it's one thing to make them cast, and then if their damage doesn't do anything, you're just inferior getting kicked around like a soccer ball, not really doing anything, even if you do manage to get a cast off. So if they decide to go that direction, which may be better for the health of the game, they have to make sure that your damage is there to back up that as well. And finally, we've got Elemental Shaman. Uh, lava Surge is triggered by Primordial Surge. Increase the damage of your next Lava Burst by 15%, down from 25%. Big nerf to Lava Burst. Primordial Surge's damage bonus is no longer reduced in PvP, though, however. Lava Burst damage increased by 12%, but this will not be affected in PvP combat. Elemental Blast damage has been increased by 6%, but will not be affected in PvP combat. Earth Shock damage will also be increased by 6%, but not in PvP. And Lightning Bolt damage has been increased by 6%, but does not affect PvP. PvP. So they did in a in, in one of the videos here. I'll have linked in just a moment. Uh, make some changes to Elemental Shaman in PvP specifically. So maybe they don't want to go with these changes on top of those ones that they were giving them. For Elemental Shaman, it's definitely more of a survivability angle when it comes to viability, at least um, in PvP. If we were going to see any changes coming through there, or potentially new honor talents, um, which there is seemingly more and more work being done on those. In the video that I just did today, uh, they looked at a bunch of talents that basically never got selected for a lot of classes and gave them a lot of buffs. If you haven't seen that video, definitely make sure you check it out. Um, but overall in this video, looking like they're just trying to get every class together for the raid testing, but some of these changes uh, will have implications on the rest of the game, whether it's Mythic Plus or it's PvP. I'm thinking mostly about the Mage changes, Death Knight changes uh, as ones that are standing out right now. And I would say Ellie Shaman, but it seems like you guys are about to going to be where you were um, anyways, given the fact that these were all counteracted in PvP. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this update, uh, and I will continue to bring these as I, as I see them in real time, uh, so you'll never miss a beat, and you'll know exactly what's going on. So thank you very much for watching the video, and I will catch you in the next one.